It's time for the last quarterfinal. On the left side is Pokemon Trainer Rodri. On the right side is Artist Cord. The quarterfinal is a 4v4 round, so please choose your Pokemon first. All right, all right. This time I'm going to enter Hulk. We're going to enter Shoot. We're going to enter Bang. And we're going to enter Violet. Let the battle begin. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Artist Cord. He's got four Pokemon ready to go. He's going to open up things with a ton drill. That works out pretty good for us, to tell you guys the truth. So I'm going to hit our Mega Evolution here, and let's see what we can do to the Tundrill. I also have Bang ready to go with the Brick, Brick, Breakity, Brick, 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 Breakity. So Bang should be able to do a lot of damage here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. The Icicle Crash made us flinch. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, well, then I'm switching out immediately. We're going to Bang, and I'm going on full offensive mode. I am not stopping the train now. I thought I was going to be nice here against Artist Cord, but I am sorry, Artist Cord. We're going to whoop you then. The Tundral is down. Oh, it barely survived with the Choppleberry. Where the fudge do you get a Choppleberry? How does that even happen? We do have Shootout here ready to go as well, though, against these pesky Ice-type Pokemon. So let's drop the Flamethrower. And let's keep on moving. We're doing pretty good so far. Next Pokemon is going to be Eclipser. Okay, Eclipser. I see you. I'm going to hit the Squall Blow here, though. See how much damage it does to it. It does nothing to the Eclipser. Here comes the Power Gem, though. Mother Fudger. Super effective. Who would have freaking thought? For real. Who would have freaking thought that that would do that much? Now, we're going to try to heal up a little bit. I got the Revival Herbs. We're going to bring Bang back into this. Hopefully, Hulk can tank it out a little bit. And if we can just tank out a tiny bit, we should be okay here. Luckily, we did. I also bought a bunch of full restores for this exact situation. So make sure you guys stock up and use uh, all the different items that you got. This is the time to use them. I've been saving up all our items for this exact freaking moment. So now we are here. Let's go for the rollout on the Eclipser. If that rollout can stack up a little bit, we should be go. good to go. And even with the sunny day out, it should be pretty good for us if we can switch out the shoot. That was a crit. The Eclipser is going to go for the Power Gem. And if our next rollout lands, the Eclipser should go down and possibly the next Pokemon as well. So the Eclipser is out of here, ladies and gentlemen, in the quarterfinals. And it's going to be a swell again. This is perfect for us. If we can just go ahead and tank it. Ah, you mother fudger. I'm going for the rollout. Here comes another air slash. What the fudge? Are you kidding me? How do I flinch twice there? This quarterfinals is a little rigged. I feel like they're getting a lot more RNG than me right now. I don't know how that's happening. But they're doing a little something here, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing something around here. All right, let's start rolling the rollout. What the mother fudger? You've got to be kidding me, right? And I'm burned now? This is insanity. How is this happening to me? This is crazy. I'm telling you guys, this is so freaking rigged. The Swelligan has gone down, but lucky for... Er, our Mountree has gone down, but lucky for us... We do have Bang ready to take down the Swell again. So let's drop that Brick, Brick, Breakity, Brick, 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 Breakity. Here comes an Air Slash. That's going to do a bunch of damage. I survived. All right. If I can just land. Oh, no. Come on. How do I miss the Stone Edge? This is so freaking rigged. I'm telling you guys. This is absolutely rigged. That is unbelievable. I don't know how the heck I'm missing everything. So let's drop the Sludge Wave here. The Scald didn't do that much. That's going to take down the Swell again. Woo! That Pokemon uh, took a lot. Took a lot out of us. Last but not least is going to be another Favesta. This is such a weird battle. I am like in awe of what's going on right now. It's getting intense up in here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and bring back Shoot. We'll see what Favesta is going for. Foul play, which isn't going to do all that much. I'll take it. Let's go for the uh, Dark Pulse ourselves. 
And that's not going to do that much to Batu and the Favesta either. So now we're out here just having a battle. Just having some fun. Seeing who's going to pull it out, ladies and gentlemen. So you know what? Let's make a little magic happen here as well. I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave. We're going to do as much damage as possible here to the Favesta. So then hopefully we can take it down with our other Pokemon. So we got it down to half. That should be good enough to wrap up this battle, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and do that. We got Shoot ready to go. It's a one-on-one -on -one right now. It's a tough one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to drop the Flamethrower, though, and that is going to do some good damage. The Favesta is down. We defeated Artist Cord. Thank goodness. So this was the last quarterfinal. Now we will draw the semifinals. Have a break. Fans, the next battles will be five versus five battles. About time. I am ready for the 5v5s. You and the Orangina made it to the semifinal? You could both just be happy not facing me until now. I'm the last female in the tournament. It's time for the semifinals, Rodri. Maybe we'll battle each other. Okay, here we go with the drawn battles for the semifinal. First battle is Pokemon Trainer Rick versus Aroma Lady Blair. Oh no. Huh, so I have to destroy one of you guys in the final. So the second semifinal is between Pokemon Trainer Rodney and Pokemon Trainer Rodri. As I expected, Rodri, let's show our skills to the world. We start with the first battle immediately. So please follow me, Pokemon Trainer Rick and Aroma Lady Blair. It's just me and Rodney. We made it to the semifinal. I can't believe it. Have you thought we would get so far as we get our first Pokemon? The first semifinal's done. It's time for the second one. Please welcome Pokemon Trainer Rodney and Pokemon Trainer Rodri. It's time for it! I won't go down easy, Rodri! It's time for the second and last semifinal. On the left side is Pokemon Trainer Rodri. On the right side is Pokemon Trainer Rodney. The semifinal is a 5v5 round, so please choose your Pokemon first. Here we go, ladies and gents. It is time for us to take on our boy, Rodney. So let's go ahead and enter some of our Pokemon into this battle. See what we can do. Everybody but Violet is going in. Let the battle begin. Here we go. Once and for all, Rodri versus Rodney. Let's go ahead and take on our rival and friend, Pokemon Trainer Rodney. He's got his five Pokemon ready to go. He's going to open up with a Lunape. I'm going for the Mega Mount Tree, and we are going to drop the Wood Hammer on the Lunape. So let's do some damage. We battled Rodney a lot. He's been with us since the beginning of this adventure. He's a great friend, but that doesn't mean we're going to take it easy on him, ladies and gentlemen. So with that, we took down the Lunape. Next is going to be Bulker. So let's go ahead and bring out Shoot. Lucky for us, we've battled this team a lot of times. So we got a handle on it. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. Although, everybody is caught up in levels. It looks like Bulker's level 65, so they have a good level cap to them. A substitute? What the fudge? Alright, he withdrew. That is a weird combo that he's using. I'm going to go for another Squall Blow here, and that is going to take down the Budsaur without too much trouble. That's two of Rodney's Pokemon down. The Bulker's coming back out. That substitute was a weird call. Lucky we do have the Quick Claw, so it's doing some work for us. Bulker is down. That's three of Rodney's Pokemon out so far. Let's go. Shoot has grown to level 69. Flaro is going to be coming out. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out. We're going to bring Mr. Krabs out here. Let's see what you got, Mr. Krabs. Level 68 right now on our Shiny. And we should be able to do... Some magic here. So, we got the Mega Fleero coming out. Now, lucky for us, I do got Mr. Krabs here, our water type. Ready to resist whatever's coming our way. Here comes the Earth Power! And we got KO'd! Alright, that's how it's gonna go. I see you, Mr. Krabs. I see you. Let's go ahead and send out Bang out here then, ladies and gentlemen. Lucky for us, I do have the Stone Edge ready. Which is going to be super effective on the Fleero. Or at least do a lot of damage to it. I didn't exactly KO it here. Let's go for the Dragon Claw then. Just something really aggressive. If we can hang in there. 
which we should be able to. Oh, wow. That did a lot. I'm going to finish it up here with the Dragon Claw. And the Fleero is down, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing real good here in this battle. Bangs, Moxie has raised the attack. The Babush is going to be the last Pokemon coming out, it looks like. Let's go ahead and send out Rush against the Babush. I really like the fact that Rodney is still using his Babush to this day. It's very, very cool. Props to him. He's done a great job of it. Last time I asked you guys, what do you think was the hardest victory road? And you guys left me a lot of comments, a lot of different victory roads. But the one I'd have to agree with you guys the most would have to be the one from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Where Wally pops out at the end. That battle is tough. It was so close! We got 6,500 for winning. I've lost! I have to accept that you are a bit stronger than me, Rodri. Never mind, congratulations. Good luck for the final. So this was the second semi-final. The participants for the final are known. Please wait a few minutes before the Rikoto Pokemon League final will start. There are two trainers left inside of here. It's us and Rick. So you made it to the final, but your opponent will be me. So you won't have a chance to win the league. It's time for the great final of the Rikoto Pokemon League. Please welcome our finalists, Pokemon Trainer Rodri and Pokemon Trainer Rick. I'll win this league no matter what. Welcome to the great final of our Pokemon League. On the left side is Pokemon Trainer Rodri. On the right side is Pokemon Trainer Rick. But well, we made it to the final, but who will win it? It's a 6v6 battle, so please choose the position of your Pokemon. Here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to enter our Pokemon and to get things going. Let the final begin. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, once and for all. Rodri versus Rick. It's time for us to take down Pokemon Trainer Rick and his six Pokemon. He's going to start things off with a Mice Tablet. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out the shoot. We faced the Mice Tablet a couple times now, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this Pokemon here. We've seen it there. We're going to see what we can do with the Flamethrower. Lucky for us, the Quick Claw has been helping us out a lot today. And the Flamethrower is doing a lot of damage. Mice Tablet is burned. I couldn't have asked for a better start to this battle. So let's keep it going. We're going to be on the offensive here. Pokemon Trainer Rick has withdrawn. Send out a Natoron though. Which is also going to get hit with our Flamethrower for some serious damage. So the Natoron is down. Let's go shoot. We took the Future Sight attack. And that's okay. Pinglade is going to be coming out. Let's go ahead and switch out for the Pinglade here, ladies and gentlemen. I want to make sure we use all our Pokemon, so let's go ahead and get Bang out here. When needed, we will switch out back to shoot. So Pinglade is level 65. Let's go for that Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity. It's pretty lucky that we battle Rick's team a couple times, so we already have a strategy. I feel like these battles have been easier than the ones we were going up against at the start, because at least now we know what Pokemon are going to be coming out. And earlier, I even lost one because I had no idea what they were going to send out at us. I was just hoping that we would have the type advantage and that it would work out. The Ancient Power is probably going to do a lot of damage to us. Oh, boy! It is super effective! Wow! That did a lot more than I thought it was going to do. I'm going to switch out to Hulk here. And let's see what Hulk can do against the Stega Steel. I'm going to drop the Bulldoze on the Stega Steel. And the Stega Steel is down. So far, so good, ladies and gents. Dino Pion is going to be coming out. And we are going to switch out. We're going to bring out Violet. And if needed, we have Rush as backup ready to switch in. So I'm going to open up with the Toxic here. And then I'm going to switch down to the Veno Shock. I think we should be good to take down the Dino Pion. Here comes the Dragon Claw. Decent amount of damage. I'm going to go for the Veno Shock. As I told you guys, we're putting it all on the line here. So we're going to have the whole team ready to go. Dino Pion is down. That's what I'm talking about, Violet. Cast Spring is going to be the last Pokemon coming out. So I'm just going to do a little something. I'm going to drop the Sludge Wave here. And then if needed, the rest of our team's good to go. But we did a ton of damage there on the Cast Spring. Let's go, Violet. 
Let's wrap this up. Oh, the cast ring hit the poison jab because it was sped up there. So, cast ring looking a little stronger than I thought. It is time to bring out Rush. Let's wrap up the battle, Rushster. Let's do this thing. I'm going to go for... Oh, the acrobatics was coming out. What the mother fudge? I forget. Caspering has a little spring to its step. We survived it, though, and the Ice Fang is super effective. The Caspering has gone down. Great work there, Rush. My Stablet, the last Pokemon coming out. I'm going for the Sucker Punch, baby. And the My Stablet is down. Rush has done it. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Rick. What? We got 3,900 for winning. Got you later, loser! What? How is that possible? I've lost? I did everything to be the greatest Pokemon trainer in the Rikoto region. But I couldn't beat you in the most important battle of my life? You beat me in a fair battle. You are one of the greatest now. You deserve my full respect. The final of the Rikoto Pokemon League is over. We have a winner. It's Pokemon trainer Rodri! Congratulations! He now has the permission to battle Rikoto's Elite Four. Good luck for that. You will need it. Everyone's here. Wow, Rodri, you did it. I'm so happy for you, Rodri. A gym leader's son and now a Ricotto League winner. I'm so proud. Keep on breathing, Mom. This was an excellent tournament, Rodri. I never expected that you would be coming this far. Rodri, thanks again for this great battle. I'm really proud that I could battle you in the final round. I'll go home to Lizzie's castle to train my skills. Maybe one day I can win this league too, so I can battle Rex. You can visit me if you want. I really like to battle you another time. See you again, Rodney. Hope we will meet again, beauty. My parents and Lizzie are waiting outside. See you in Raza Castle, Rodri. See you later, Rick. Excuse me, sir. Rick's being polite. Maybe he isn't that much of a total what a nice and gentle boy how did the battle how the brat call kira who cool, yeah rodney he even call you by a correct name rodney being young again just for one day ha huh. never mind kira rodney and rodri you all did an awesome job you started your journey with just one pokemon now you are participating in the ricotto pokemon league furthermore rodri won it for all your efforts with filling the pokedex i have a gift for you but you have to come into my laboratory we're now going home, Rodri. We're so proud of you. I hope you'll give the Elite Four and the actual champions some tough battles. We would like to watch your battles with them, but we're not allowed to enter their rooms in the stadium. If you have battled them, visit me in my gym. I really want to battle you again. Why, darling? I know you will come home as the Rikoto Pokemon champion. So, Rodri, are you going to go battle the Elite Four now? You're so lucky. I really want to battle them. All you have to do is go back to the Rikoto Pokemon League building and talk to the lady behind the counter. And she will get you ready. As Wade said, we can't go with you to the Elite Four, but we can watch your battles on the TV in the League building. We'll all be cheering for you there, Rodri. You guys just heard it from them, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially the winners of the Rikoto Pokemon League. And we have another challenge that awaits us. And that is going to be the Elite Four. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. We have our biggest challenge in front of us, the Rikoto Elite Four. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. What are you waiting for? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. Goodbye.